So we got the 1920 Chrysler sedan inside the garage. And the first thing that we're gonna wanna do is pull out all this extra stuff here. We got extra parts. You can see we got extra steering wheel and tires, even though we got the old fashioned wooden spoke tires here. Yeah, we're just gonna see how it goes. So going through the car, we noticed when we took out the extra parts and stuff here that there is some mold that's grown in the seat. So the best thing you wanna do is put on a respirator mask because you don't wanna get sick and inhale all that dust and mold. So let's be smart, put on some PPE. As you can see, I took out the first bench in here. You kind of look down and we got a few screws. We got some rust on there. We're going to clean up nice. Uh, next, we're going to take out these backrest seats. As you can see, kind of here, they are stitched into the fabric and we're going to replace all that anyway. So once we take out the seats, this fabric here will come with it and we'll go from there. Here guys, so the one thing I've been looking at while I'm putting together this 1928 Chrysler sedan is I, have, I haven't had any videos that I've seen really that show you how to take the seats of an old vehicle like this one. I'm currently rebuilding this one. I'm going to get all these seats reupholstered, so these seats got to come out. The simple way to get these seats out of here is to push in and lift and not bolted down by anything um the backrest will still have to take off uh, they're connected with the rest of the fabric to the car but if you need to just take out the benches real quick just push in and lift and i'll show you this real quick as soon as i get my ppe on and when you got mold like this you want to make sure you're always wearing a mask Simple. Just push in, lift up, and pull out. Just like that, it's as simple as can be. Alright, stay tuned if you want to see me rebuild the rest of this car. Now that we got the handle off the back of this, um, then we're going to have to take out this metal base here. Uh, I'm not sure if it's being held up by a couple bolts underneath uh, the car here, but we're going to have to figure it out. But uh, this right now, we got the back of the cab all taken care of, and then we have to take down these blinds take off the old ceiling here and then we'll strip her down and get her all cleaned up keep watching for more you know this is going to be one heck of a project can't wait